let's talk about Service Bus Monitoring. Service Bus is a PaaS app that lets you decouple your app components to make them more available and scalable. Mobile apps and APIs will then send messages to your Service Bus topics with their different subjects. The backend applications will subscribe to those message topics and then read and delete those messages. But things can go wrong. Maybe a message isn't formatted correctly, or maybe it's missing some data. So part of the Service Bus will hold these dead letter messages for you to fix and then resubmit to the queue for processing. And that's right where Serverless 360 comes in with their Business Applications module. In here, you have the Service Map, and this is a diagram of your application, and you can see right where the trouble spots are. That would be these red boxes telling you that you have a problem. If you click on one of them, you'll see this pop out showing that you have some dead letter messages in the topic subscription. Each one of these are configured with warning and error limits. Currently, there's 30 active messages in the queue and 27 in the dead letter queue. So let's see how you can resolve this. On the left, open your resources and then scroll down to the service bus topics, then your topic subscriptions. Now click over here to select your topic subscription and at the top, click on Monitoring. Here you can turn on the Service Bus Monitoring with a single click. And let's say you end up with a status of Disabled, but it should be a status of Active. Well, right over here, you can set the Autocorrect to set that status to Active automatically, no problem. You can also set things like your Dead Letter Threshold Count. That could give you a warning if you have, you know, more than five messages and an error if you have more than 10. You can also set an action to resubmit those dead letters automatically. And this action is configured over in the business applications back on the left. Then click on the automated task at the top and here you'll find your resubmission task. Just click the three dots to edit and set the option for how you want to handle the messages. Then you can select from your queue or your subscriptions and click next. To find the schedule that works for you and click next again, and you can use a process like this to reduce your cost of Azure Service Bus by purging stale messages. Every message in your queue has some cost, so you want to get them out of there and processed as fast as possible. And you'll generally have some kind of SLA like two or three minutes for processing. And if something goes wrong, you could end up with a lot of messages stuck in your queue, and it may not necessarily make sense to resubmit them. In that case, you can just purge. So for that, create a new configuration, select your Service Bus, Click Process Service Bus Dead Letter, select the Delete option, and then select either your queue or your subscription. And then you can choose from a built-in reason or just pick Other and type your own reason, like Invalid Record. Give that task a name at the top and click Next. Set your schedule just like before and click Next. And you can even add a notification if you like, and then click Save. And as always, you can configure user access management controls for all of your users to create custom roles and give them only the rights that they need. This is great if you have a third party help desk who'll do these kind of maintenance tasks for you. So you can just give them the ability to do just the reprocessing of your messages, or maybe your logic app was down and you want them to repair and then reprocess. And it's all up to you. And then these actions that are taken in Serverless 360 are tracked here in the user activities page so you have a good audit trail for all of those actions and governance controls. And now you can monitor your service bus applications, repair, reprocess those dead letter messages, and also purge your queues out of old messages to reduce your cost. Now, if you wanna learn more about managing your cloud environment, click right over here and happy learning.